Hey, I'm at the Baha'i Lotus Temple in Delhi, India. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I think is the difference between data and information. So we have to go back to the beginning. And in the beginning, computers were created really to do mathematics. And if you think about it, mathematics consists of a couple of things. I think it consists of uh, equations and numbers. The equations turned into computer code, programming code. Equations plus the ability to string equations together and to make choices based on the outcomes of those equations. So the equations turned into computer code and the numbers were put into the computer code in order to make the calculations. So computers were created to do mathematics and that's right there in the name of the device, the computer. It computes just like you might compute a sum or an average or something like that. And the, the co computations were encoded into computer code or logic. Logic is the name we give them because they sort of rationalize, they put together, they string together a sequence of mathematical operations in order to come up with an overall result. So each line of code you can think of is like an equation and all the different lines of codes are different equations that are all put together to come up with an overall result, an end result. Now the information that, or the, the numbers that those equations work on were called data and they still are called data today. And data really mostly, re or the way that I want to refer to it anyway, is numbers. It's a bunch of numbers that computer code work on and make calculations based on. So that's the idea of data. And data, um, as it got larger and larger, we needed bigger and bigger places to store it. As you'll see later in this class, we put it all into something called a database, a base of data. And the data, once again, is small snippets, things like your name, things like a telephone number, things that could be operated on by equations. Okay, so that's the, that's the past. What do we use computers for today? Well, certainly we still use them for computing. There's lots of scientific applications, lots of manufacturing applications, lots of places where we do lots of manipulations on numbers. So that idea that computers are for computing, for doing mathematics, is still right there, right at the heart of computing. However, there's a huge other part of computing that's come along that is really going to be what we focus most on in this class. And that's information. That's the movement of information. I'll talk about information as being various forms of communication like videos and text and images and sound and that sort of thing that we really care to collect up and deliver to each other over the internet and other networks like the internet. So we have this kind of disjunction between the idea of data, which is numerical and can be calculated on, and the idea of information, which is really recorded communication, the stuff that we pass around, like a book or a magazine or a television show. That's not really data in the sense of numbers that you would do equations on. But if you ask a computer scientist, they'll say, well, it really is all data in the end. Any video is just a bunch of ones and zeros, and we actually do operate on it with, with equations. So in that sense, everything can be reduced to data, but that doesn't help us in this class. What helps us mostly is to, he is to think of this idea that there's data on this side that consists of numbers that equations can calculate on, and there's information on this side which consists of the consumables, the things that we want to see. So one way to think about it is if it would fit really well inside of an Excel spreadsheet, it's probably data. If it didn't, wouldn't make any sense, like try to put a novel inside of Excel spreadsheet, right? It doesn't really work. Try to put a movie inside of an Excel spreadsheet. If it goes nicely into an Excel spreadsheet, we'll think of it as data. If it won't really fit into there, it's a story, it has lots of richness to it that really isn't represented by Excel, um, then we're going to call it information. All right, I'll stop there. I won't really go further into this idea of, of wisdom and knowledge. Um, that's for another time. So to summarize, data, the numbers, information, the consumables, the things that we want to create and consume and pass around.